what is going on x community exo stomp here and today people we're going to be doing the season 11 pickums for the forge uh this one we are doing the aeron division and joining me for the aeron division is galaxy bomb hello everyone long time no see oh all righty so um as you guys can see obviously uh that is not galaxy's logo uh, but uh, this is just an example because we're starting on week two, um, but uh, I do need to give an example before we start doing this. So as you can see on the left side, the blue indicates uh, the actual scores for uh, that day or that week rather. Uh, the red represents, you know, if you got it wrong, if you got the person wrong, um, that is you just get red. So you get no points. Uh, green gives you one point. That means that you got at least the person right. Yellow means that you got the person and the score right. So that would count as an extra point. So it's two points. And then uh, locks also count as a point. Um, so if you somehow lock on, like for example, if I locked on LEL uh, and they got a 1-0, then I would get three points because that's two plus the lock, which is one. So this is how it's going to look. Uh, it's going to have a Galaxy's logo instead of Solo's, obviously. And uh, yeah, so this is how it's going to look for next time. All right. Cool. So let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. Let's get on to the first matchup, which is going to be Nuke Bomb versus Jamesy. Whew. All right, so uh, these teams are quite interesting. I think both uh, both have some really scary threats. Uh, yeah, first... I personally think Moltres is very strong in this matchup. Um, I think it's a really solid core that they can build around and. I feel like James is going to have a hard time going through it. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's definitely true. Um Yeah, honestly, uh just blatantly looking at uh the top mons here, we got like Tinkaton, but I feel like there are some there's at least one good counter for Tinkaton. Uh, being like or Orthworm. Orthworm is a pretty good switch into Tinkaton. Um, and then like, if you look at Gardevoir on the opposite side, I don't know what switches in the Gardevoir like extremely effectively. I guess Tinkaton, but you know, it, it has uh, has Mystical Fire, which I, I think it still has. Um, so that could come. And, uh, hell, even if it's, like, specs, it could definitely nuke Tinkaton. So, I think Nuke Bomb is in for a, uh, a scary game here. Yeah, that's, that's definitely true. I would have to say, in terms of their defensive lineups, I believe Jamesy's at a bit of a disadvantage here. Um, <clears throat> Jamesy notably is pretty weak to flying and rock, while, um... I don't believe Nuke Bomb has any critical weaknesses. They're a little bit vulnerable to ground, but they do have two pretty decent mons in Moltres and Rotom that can take care of that. And also their, um, uh, I can't remember its name for some reason, the bird, the, the fighting bird that, uh, Decidueye, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, has a ground resist as well. Uh, and while Orthworm is a pretty strong um, deal type, I don't. It has to do a lot here because it's the it's um, Jamesy's only flying resist, which means it has to basically prevent Moltres from doing anything. But then it's weak to fire. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Orthworm is like. But Moltres itself just is really good here. Um, Orthworm is a very strong mon, but I feel like it's holding the Tetris castle together, and 
if it goes down, everything crumbles. Yeah. Um, I will say, like, AV Muck probably comes to beat the Moltres mm-hmm. as well. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. It, it's tough because, like, Nuke Bomb has that Decidueye that can just click close combat very freely. Um, the only thing that would take a hit, I guess, would be, like... <laughs> I don't even know. Like, Gardevoir, but not really. So yeah. I, I have no idea. I, I think I think we both have an idea of who we're going with. Uh I'm gonna settle with Nuke Bomb taking a solid four zero against James E. Oh interesting. Okay. Uh alright, four oh. Um all right, well this is tough because you know what? I'm gonna start off with a bang. I'm gonna go Jamesy this time. Really? You think Jamesy's gonna take it? I I I'm well, hoping. If you don't, if you don't believe in it, you probably shouldn't <laughs> bet on it. No, 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 no. Okay, I believe Jamesy's got this. I can see that whisk cash. I can see that surskit. Those are some That's really good. I was gonna comment on the fact that I'll, his his point pool is a little diluted by mons <laughs> that are almost never coming. And if they are, it's putting him at a significant disadvantage. No, 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 no. Surskit's coming this game. I t- I'm telling you. Okay. <laughs> uh, so, Jamesy, I'm going to give him a solid 2-0. Okay. All right. Let's move on to the next one here. We got Harris. Is it Harris? Harris Zero? Harris O? Harris. I'll just call him Harris. All right. Harris versus Giuseppe Jeez. Cup. Okay, so first off, um, the the easiest thing to see that is in common with both these teams, they are both very weak to Barry. Um, <clears throat> overall, in terms of what prevents like a fairy sweep for them, uh, on Harris's side you have Muck, and on um, <laughs> Giuseppe's side you have Slowbro. Yep. Uh, Delphox can hold its ground a little bit, but usually coverage would probably handle it pretty easily. Um, I will say, I think overall, Perez's team is a little more bulky, so that it can probably prevent that from happening a little bit easier. Um, I also don't think... Yeah, um, Giuseppe doesn't have a particularly strong fairy type, Though Terra can always cover that pretty easily. Mm-hmm. Meanwhile, Hatterene on the uh, opponent's team is pretty strong in this matchup. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Um. All right. So let's see. The thing is, see, you you pointed out uh, like fairy weakness, and Harris has you know Hatterene as a fairy, and you look at Giuseppe Cup, and this man's got Morgrim. Yeah. So it's so like a I, little different. I, I feel like Terra Fairy as like an offensive push, it could be pretty effective here. Hmm. Um, I personally don't know if Arbeliva or Delphox have any fairy coverage. Because those are the Terra captains, but yeah, I, that is that is definitely something I notice immediately. The other thing I notice um, is quite a significant flying weakness on uh, Harris's side that Alteria might be able to take advantage of. Also, given the fact that the only dragon prevention is Hatherine on Harris's side as well, everything else is neutral to it. Interesting. Okay. So, given the fact that Harris does not have an ice type and would probably have to cover it with Vaporeon, uh, Altaria might have a very good game here. Very interesting. Yeah, I, I don't know, because even though Altaria, you know, Dragon exists, uh, Vaporeon, even though like it doesn't resist or anything, it still eats. Yeah. 
it can still tank it pretty well. And, and it does learn, you know, Ice Beam, obviously. So, like, it could... I think it's... I think it's, a, a, like... It's tough for me to, like, call something here because the problem is that both teams have win cons. It's just yes. who can actually, like, make it Capitalize work. Capitalize on it, yeah. yeah. Um, I think given that, I would have to say I feel like Harris's team can capitalize on Hatterene more than Giuseppe's team can capitalize on Altaria. Mm -hmm. uh, and for that reason, I'm going to give Harris a relatively close 2-0 victory here. Alright. Uh, okay. Well, I am going to also go Harris here. And yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go Harris. It's it's tough because I really think that Harris is it really uh... yeah. It really depends on who plays better in the early game and and gets the lead, but um, it's kind of up in the air. I just don't. I don't know about the Terras to, on on Harris' team. Like for example, you could have a Sandy Shocks Terra, and then like I don't know a Houndoom or a Muck or a Squawkabilly, whatever. One of those be your your other Terra. I just feel like Primate plus Rapska. Like Rapska, I don't. Terra is pretty strong though because her Primate has a lot of coverage. Um, and given the fact that it can now hold in a Violite, it's actually quite bulky. Mm. Um, so it, it can do a decent amount that it used to not be able to do. Um, I, I was pretty, uh, negative towards Primeape going into the draft, but I've kind of come around and I, I believe Primeape might actually be a sleeper hit, especially given its low point value, allowing the other parts of the team to be stronger. Uh, I'm very eager to see if Primeape can actually put in the work that uh a lot of people believe it can do yeah because the thing is too uh it can it's able to take a hit with a violet and then when it takes a hit it's powering up its rage fist every time it takes a hit mm -hmm. so w pairing that with uh vaporeon which is which can wish pass to it it can constantly come in and, and constantly get that rage fist up so that being said Rage Fist, like like Ghost in general, versus this team, it doesn't actually do that much. I mean, obviously, uh, Zorwark can come in, uh, and it can come in as whatever it wants to, and they're probably gonna click Rage Fist on like everything, so mm -hmm. it'll be immune. But anyways, sorry, got sidetracked. I'm gonna go uh, Harris three zero. Let's go on to the next match, which is Davy versus Seabass. Speaking of ghosts stomping over everything, oh boy, <laughs> they, they both are very weak to ghost. I have to say. Well, but before we do that, uh, can we just look at Seabass's terrors? All right, I wasn't gonna comment <laughs> on it because I didn't want to draw attention to it. <laughs> what do you mean? But um, yeah, so this—I mean—it's very clearly a meme. Um given the fact that he still has 11 points left <laughs> to pick Paris. <laughs> but, realistically, Quaxwell has a decent amount of utility. Um, and while Love Disc isn't good <laughs> at all, <laughs> um, a Terrid Love Disc might survive a hit. Yeah. So, yeah. Anyways. It could wish, um, I think. For Terra Dragalge is scary because Dragalge is already really bulky and already has a pretty good type. So you build around taking out Dragalge and then it just changes type and you're kind of screwed. Right. Hmm. That's true. Yeah, Dragalge. Oh man, Dragalge just nukes everything. Like, just looking at this this lineup, Tinkatuff has to come in against Dragalge, but. If it goes for like a ground uh, Terra or like a fire Terra, it's not gonna live. <laughs> yeah, uh, ground ground is a, a pretty significant problem on Seabass's end. Hmm. They have, I think, 
uh, Electros to deal with it, and that's about it. Uh, yeah. Given the fact that Salazal is one of their strongest... Wait, am I looking at the wrong... No. Yes, Salazal. No, um, given the fact that Salazal is one of their strongest mons, the fact that they're four times weak to ground and they don't have a good ground defensive, like a mon to cover that weakness, is a problem. It makes it so that Salazal is very hard to switch into uh, and pretty much only can come in as a revenge killer. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Uh, besides that, it just just team lineup itself. I think I think Davy has this in the bag. Okay, like yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I would agree. Uh, just better Terra's more solid team composition. You know, the the lower point mons are complementing the higher point ones in terms of defenses. Um, Pawniard is a little bit useless i don't see it really coming to any game it's kind of just there to stable out the typing chart with its steel and dark but i mean it could have some use as like some kind of quick knockoff utility if it really needs to hit something with a violet or something like wait, that wait does it have knockoff still i'm i'm assuming Pawniard would have knockoff i'm I checking would be very this disappointed if it didn't Pawniard. no surely it must right i'm sorry but it's illegal are you serious? <laughs> Alright, this thing's useless. Cool. <laughs> what the hell is this? Anyways, um, even with that being said, I I, I can't see Seabass winning here, unfortunately. I think their weaknesses are just too too powerful for Davy to capitalize on, and for that reason I'm giving Davy a 3 0 victory. Okay. Okay. 3 0. That's fair. Um obviously I'm gonna go with Davy as well here. Uh, but I'm gonna a little. I'm gonna go a little higher. I'm gonna go. You know, I'm gonna go five zero. Okay. Because honestly, I think like if Clefty could just get up screens. Yeah, I could. I could absolutely. <laughs> it's kind of over. <laughs> yeah. Uh. All right. Cool. Let's go on to the next one here, which is the last rock one. We got Ninja versus Shaman Master here. Okay. So. Just to be frank, uh, um, Ninja's first week was uh, a little bit interesting, and I think it's it's good to note that in the Aeron League, you're going to have relatively experienced players that maybe aren't particularly good at drafting or have some critical misplays or that kind of stuff pitched against people who've never done draft. Mm -hmm. or or have maybe done it once and they weren't fully aware of what they were doing. Um, that being said, however, uh, I think that the team composition specifically of Ninja definitely has some issues holding it back. Um, but uh, Shimon Master's team also might have some problems with it, but has a much easier time capitalizing on punishing the opponent uh especially giving Noivern and beyonce that is a terrifying core that can absolutely get out of control yeah yeah there's a my god there, there's a there's a lot to go over here um yeah. i personally i'm not a big fan of ninja team uh just off the bat i i understand where it's coming from like but in mind that Ninja has 17 points remaining. What? Still. Ninja still has 17 points remaining that he could pick. Oh, okay. So so Ninja's just holding off until... Uh, like. Exactly. It's, uh, you know, it's the, it's the plan. I don't know. Let me just look Anyways, on the board. Anyways, I believe 17. Shimon Master is going to have a 5 <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. There's, a, there's an Ampharos right there. That's a threat. Dude! 17 po are you kidding no you're kidding i'm not kidding there's 17 points remaining there's 17 points remaining. and also where are your terrace he doesn't have any terrace. i i am sorry i think you're very confused on what league you're in um i believe this is ninja's first draft league that's fair um but you're supposed to use you it's okay it's okay, it's okay. i'm just i'm getting Listen. frustrated <laughs> could 
could, I don't know, flinch everyone with a King's Rock. Not on Mouse Hold, though, because that would be illegal. That would be illegal. Um, just everything else has a King's Rock except for Mouse Hold. And then you just flinch and every, everyone and they wins. We've we've seen it before, so... Uh, I, I'm just going to say this. Uh, five Ultra Bones. <laughs> I, I, do want, I do want to say this, though. You have 17 points left. Please use them. Like, like... Absolutely. I don't care what you pick up, but like something. Point, like, is there a 17 point still available in the Aeron draft? I mean, Chansey, which you shouldn't pick up. Yeah. And then Uxie, which honestly isn't bad for this Uxie's team. It's not bad at all. Like, honestly, it would increase the, the capabilities of the team quite a bit. Uh, just having an extra strong Mon that you can go into. Yeah. Um. But is it is it rude to lock on this match? Is that is that is that being mean? That's that's BMing. It's BM. No, no, no. That, little... I think oh. it's fine if you lock. Yeah. I will. I will lock Shimon's five of victory here. Oh my god, you're insane. All right. Now for for your sake, I hope Ninja wins. I do too. I honestly do. Uh, Just because it would be really funny. Is it 5 0? Yeah. Okay. Um, for me, so, man, this is tough. Uh, but also, not not really, because I know Shiman. Is it tough? <laughs> I know Shiman knows what he's doing. Um, I gotta. I'm not locking. I'm, I'm gonna tell you that. I, I feel bad because. Wow. No, 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 I'm not. I'm not taking the free lock like someone I know. All right. Listen, I'll take what I can get. I gotta win one of these. Oh my god! Hey, right, I'm gonna go with a four zero. Cool. Cause, yeah. All right. Next one here, we got Tofluck versus Shinrai. All okay, right. onto the Steel Division. Uh, I have to say, some of the Steel teams in Aeron League are pretty competent. I'm actually glad they're not in Laron because I don't want to go up against them. Um, that being said, Shinrai, I think, has a very powerful team here. It's a little weak to ground um, with relying on Noivern and uh, Rotom. And Noivern's a little weak to, to rock, so... What about Toad's as well together. Um, it, yeah... It, it probably is going to be their best bet in tanking that kind of stuff. Uh, but Code School's notably more specially defensive, and most ground moves or ground bonds would be physically offensive. Hmm. So, kind of here or there. Um, that being said, uh, Toph does not have an ice type to capitalize on Code School's four times weakness or Neuvern's four times weakness to ice, making them much easier uh or making tough much easier to deal with for shinrai fair though a terra ice could be pretty interesting here i don't think like like rock might have ice spinner maybe i don't i don't actually know I mean, it doesn't really matter because of terrible so true i keep forgetting that you could just use that <laughs> um, um yeah yeah uh also Toph is a pretty weak to fairy here, though Dash Bun is more of a coverage fairy user than like fairy spamming. Right. I think. Yeah. Dash Bun is, is like a, like an aromatise kind of uh mon, but um Yeah, it's it's really for me. The mods that I'm looking at here are uh, Braviary on, on Toflux team. I think Braviary, if played correctly, can win the game. You just have to obviously weaken that uh, Kapraja a bit, and it it can pretty much kill everything. Um, and then on the opposite side, on Shinrai's side, uh, I'm really looking at Floatzel, surprisingly. Like, Floatzel, Terra mm. can just wave crash spam. And, like, what what comes in? Samurai? Oh, yeah. I didn't <sighs> realize how weak to water Toph is. Yeah. 
Puffs only resist the Samurott. Yeah. Yeah, that's a problem. <laughs> Yeah, so that's that's gonna be a very big problem, um, especially because there's no there's not even like resists like like that's the only resist and like you don't want to switch into uh, float yeah, with your samurai and what are your bulky mons on Toph's team? Uh, it's a spite ups. Yeah, I think <laughs> I think given how offensive Shinrai's team is and how uh, weak. Like defensively weak Toph's team is, I think it's pretty easy for me to say 4 0 victory to Shinrai. That's fair. That's very fair. Uh, 4 0. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go. See, it's, it is tough because I, I know both of these players know what they're doing. It's just the team line up i mean half the time it doesn't matter it's just like oh i got... sometimes it's just whoever presses quiver dance on turn one wins you know well sometimes yeah but uh yeah oh, oh. all right well i'm gonna go <laughs> I'm gonna go shinrai uh i'll just i'll i'll, I'll go 2-0 on shinrai yeah okay all right next one here we got board versus a lucky Okay, so um, I really like Board's team, honestly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I think it's very solid. I think there's very little holes. I think they're a little fire weak, if I remember correctly. They just have Talon Flame and the Tauros, but Tauros is pretty tanky. It's 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 it can put up a fight um, when it comes to resisting things and punching back. I also don't think. Yeah, right? Uh, Lucky does not have a fire type. Oh, it has Houndoom. Eh. Yeah. yeah. Eh. <laughs> wow. I mean, Houndoom's good. Uh, I don't think it's that good. And I don't think it's enough to fully capitalize on pretty much the only hole in Board's team. I mean, Nasty Plot, and then just like fire blasting everything isn't bad yeah the the main problem is the the main check which is tauros really checks how to give us true. typing that's true uh, well... um otherwise though talent flame i think has a pretty easy time here um the only check to it i think is bronzong with heat proof mm-hmm uh, and other than that, if if Board can deal with Bronzong, they kind of just run over everything else. Yeah. Uh, Maybe Slowbro can eat some hits. Slowbro can definitely but... eat hits. And Flurgus, depending on like, you know, if it's defensive or not, like mm -hmm. max defense, it could definitely eat a hit. Um, and the thing is too, uh. Like, Houndoom can actually also eat Talonflame hits if it's going for, like, a fire move. Uh, True. Now, I'm looking at Bronzong, and Heatproof kind of has to come, right? Because it, yeah. it stops that Talonflame. Uh, just generally stops something like a Gardevoir. So it doesn't need ground there. Sandaconda gets checked by a few things here, uh, including... Like, you're going to go into Rotomo because you'll be immune to Glare and you'll be immune to, you know, Earthquakes and stuff like that. So that's yeah. going to be a check there. I honestly think Heatproof is the best play. Yeah, I could I could definitely see that. Um, I don't know if Scyther comes here, though, so Santa Conda might still be a pretty solid pick. Hmm. Uh, so Because then there's only really one check to Earthquake spam, which is Rotom, and maybe like Flapple. I don't know how well that could tank it. <laughs> I think it could tank it. Uh, like, not well, but it could take it. Yeah. Um, given all that being said, I think Board is going to take this. I think it will be pretty close. I think they're both pretty solid with their lineups. Man, I'll give Board a 2-0 victory. 2-0, okay. 
Um, all right, so I I have some high hopes for board. Uh, I think I think board's gonna win this one. Um, so much that I'm actually gonna lock on board. Okay, I, mean, I, I think that's a pretty worthy lock. I think board team is very confident. Yeah, I, I think board can do this. Um, and I'm gonna give board a. Is I feel like it's gonna be close. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go one zero. I have really. Yeah. I, I was contemplating one zero, so I think that's perfectly reasonable. Okay. Oof. And then our last game for this uh, round of pickums is going to be Eagle versus Jax. Yeah, for those who uh, aren't aware, uh, Sir Swordfish and um, who were they against? Uh, Melody? Yes, Sir Swordfish and, and Melody have already gone for us, so we are not doing them because our votes would be skewed. All right. Everyone else has not gone yet. Yep. Um, okay, so um, Jackson and Egril. This is interesting because I feel like I feel like just looking at the teams, E Girl has a bit of an advantage, but I don't think that's enough to solidify them as like instant victory. Um, the main thing is I do not know how powerful Ditto is in this meta. Hmm. Um, it's really hard to tell because there are a lot of mons that are pretty powerful just by virtue of them existing. Um, stuff like Orthworm uh, and its ability, you know. Um, but since it doesn't have a Terra to maybe capitalize on it more, I don't... I don't know if it's a dead pick or not. Like, it's really, like, in, you know, in the Dynamax format, it was super strong because it was a great revenge killer for Dynamax and all that kind of stuff. But in this, I don't see Ditto being worth the slot, if that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, I, I agree with that. I, I'm just looking at, like, matchup-wise, um... I'm looking, I'm trying to figure out if Cloyster can sweep and I'm having trouble seeing that working because the thing is, Wochen, it, it's threat. Uh, if it turns into a, like a steel type, okay, you're, maybe Wochen you go. An absolute wall of a steel type Terra. Which means like, okay, let's say then you go fighting Terra. Oh wait, no, you can't do fighting Terra closer because you're not a Terra. Okay. So, off the bat, like, Orthworm, just by not even tearing, obviously, can counter a Cloyster if it is going Shell Smash. So, it's gonna be tough. Um, I kind of like Eagle's team better, but mm -hmm. I don't know. It's, I'm having the trouble main, figuring yeah, The main out. thing is, I, I see what Jackson's team is going for, but I don't think it really had enough points to do it. You know, you see like Moltres, Quagsire as that core, while Quagsire doesn't really hold up to the same metric that like a Swampert Moltres core would. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's a little too slow. Lefty's really strong at protecting stuff like Cloyster uh, and allowing them to, to set up same with Masquerade. Um, and Sandy Shocks, especially given its Terra, and actually put in quite a lot of work. All that being said, though, you know, Orthworm and Jolteon, really strong combination. Uh, Wochan is just an absolute wall. I could see Wochan Steel basically serving the same role as a Palisand Registeel core, which is just almost unbeatable. Like, it's just so oppressive to deal with both of those Pokemon. Yeah, yeah. Um, not to mention Dragology and Cryogon are both also really beefy. Eagle's team is just beefy. It's just really hard to punch through. Yeah. Um, so I don't know if Jackson has enough offense to do that. 
Cloyster is really strong, but gets walled really easily. Moltres is really good, but usually needs a good amount of backup to uh, offense to do so, and Quagsire doesn't really provide that. Masquerade needs good setup and defense from Klefki, but how safely is Klefki going to come in and set those screens? And how much pressure is Eero going to put on? It's a little hard to tell, but I do think Eero is going to take this victory with... Um, I think it's going to be a pretty slow game, and I think it's going to be a bit of a grind. I'm going to say 1-0 Eero. 1-0, okay. Okay. Um, I I could definitely agree with you that I I, I feel like Eero has the matchup, but... I don't know, man. I'm just looking... I'm very jealous, okay? Because I want a closer into any shocks. You got those. Then you got the other two mods, Klefki and Masquerine that I, that I got, but I was looking at as well. Very jealous of Jackson. <laughs> so much so that I kind of want to vote for them, mainly because Yeah, your team is very similar, actually. <laughs> yeah, I think we both had the same ideas. I think that the Terra... Like, you should just swap Sandy Shocks with Cloyster. Because the thing is, uh, for Terra, because... Sandy Shocks by itself can do work. Yes, with Terra it does more, but Cloyster without Terra gets walled by any Mon that feels like they want to be a Steel type if they can Terra, or just Steel type in general. So, <laughs> kind of annoying. But, that being said, I'm going to give Jackson here the win, and I am going to say... I'm, I'm just going to go 3-0. Oh, okay, sure. I will say just a, a final comment on Eagle's team. I don't know if he has enough points to te to change his Terras into something more offensive. I don't really think so. I think really Azumarill and Palisand are the only other options with the points mm -hmm. he has, um, which is a little unfortunate because I feel like uh, Wochian and Cryogonal as Terras kind of accomplish the same role. I can see Cryogonal being like some kind of sneaky offensive set with like a choice matchup like because it's pretty fast but that that it, it kind of overlaps a little bit since they're usually both set up as defensive bonds yeah they, there's a lot of pokemon on equals team that could use terra like for example jolteon loves it wochen loves it dragalge can love it uh yeah. even like tauros or meloetta yeah. like they, they're all of them could really use it the problem is the the, the point values you want yeah, you want Wochian, and therefore you can't have anything else. Which, I honestly don't... <sighs> Wochian is so annoying, because the thing is, you have Orthworm, so if you, if you want a bulky steel, that works the same way, but... I don't know. It's it's tough, but I, I, I can agree, like... That... The difference is, Wochian can leap seed you. <laughs> <sighs> That's true, that's true. And knock off you, <laughs> for some reason. Yeah, I don't know why that... How is it knocking off? Whatever. Okay, um... But yeah, so uh, let's go down to the last slide here. So basically, as you guys can see, this is how it's going to look. It's going to have Mega Aggro in here as well. But uh, you guys, this is very simple. Um, you know, on, let's just say the middle, you can see I have 14 and then Solo had 18. So it was obviously red means I'm losing and then green means I'm winning, yada, yada. Uh, but this one's more simple, you guys can understand. And then the overall scores are, are going to be below that. We'll just add them up. So, yeah, this is how I'm it's going to win this time. If you win. If I win. You. You will get to choose the first mon that I pick next season. Interesting proposition. But if oh. I win, what do I get? What, what are you going to say to me? Uh, you get to choose your own mon. <laughs> Hell yeah! I can't wait to win. Okay. Alright, cool. Let's All right. uh, let's hope uh, everyone good luck in your matches. Uh, hopefully I predict all 100% correct and get all the points. Oh, and God, yeah. No. We actually voted very similarly this time, so the points won't be too much different no matter what. That's true, yeah. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, we will, uh, well, we'll see you guys next time. Peace.